gang, Rebecca here, your best friend in your dating journey, in your love life. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe. And now let's dive in. Okay, gang, so this video is for the girl who has a bit of a wall up when it comes to men approaching her, or maybe she has a wall up in relationship with men. So this video is for you if you have a wall up and you know you do and you're like, I don't know why it's there, but I'm just kind of closed off and I actually, I really want to meet, I'm a great guy, but I'm not really allowing love in and I don't really let men approach me or I'm not, I know I'm really not that approachable or I have this wall, I'm like, don't talk to me but I want to meet a guy, so like, what do I do? <laughs> okay, this is really common, so let's talk about it. Now, if we have a wall up, right? A wall meaning there's like these blinders right here or there's this barricade, this invisible barricade, and we're walking around in public. What this barricade, right, or this invisible igloo, we'll call it, what it provides for us is control, right? Because if we are in control, you know, we're inside our invisible igloo, then we don't have to worry about anything that is out of our control approaching us, right? We don't have to worry about the unexpected that is outside of our control, right? Now, if you smile and you wink and you're like, hey, you can talk to me, you're inviting in the unexpected. You cannot predict what he's going to say, what he's going to do. You can't predict it, right? So. That's scary for a lot of people, especially if they felt like there was a time in their life where they lost complete control. Maybe they were overpowered or they had trauma or there was an incident where they just felt completely out of control. Then what happens is they try to maintain control by you know, having an invisible igloo. But then the downside of that, right, is that you're not getting asked out or you're not dating or you're closing yourself off to intimacy, to love, okay? So how we support that is we look at, okay, so what is it that I do want, right? And if you're following my work, I'm assuming you want a wonderful, loving partnership. So a piece to that puzzle is flirting, right? Flirting, then there's dating, and then there's courting, and then there's the exclusive relationship. So if you have an invisible igloo up, we want to melt it, right? We want to melt it. We want to say, you know, I'm willing to be open. And I know that that's inviting in the unexpected. And I know that can be a bit nerve wracking, <laughs> but I'm willing to linger in that discomfort because I know that it's gonna support me in opening my heart and meeting a very loving partner. So now what I want you to do is as you go out in public, you can wink, right? You can say hi, you can be open and available and invite in the unexpected, right? Even if at first take, you're like, oh, I don't know if he's my type and you wanna like shut him out as a possibility, be open to it because you never know who or how or when you're gonna fall in love. And when you guys say you smile, you wink and you run off, <laughs> don't do that. Let yourself smile, wink, be open and available and linger in that space because you want to give them an opportunity to ask you out, right? And sometimes people interrupt that moment and move on because they're afraid, well, what if he wasn't going to ask me? I don't want to feel rejection or I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable, right? And they have all these crazy stories, right? We're all a little crazy. So you want to linger in that discomfort and so that way there's space, there's an opportunity for him to ask you out if he's going to because know that fear of rejection is a real thing for a man as is, right? So the more opportunities you can give to him and the more you can show, hey, I'm, in, I'm available and I'm interested, I think, right? Or I'm interested, then you're going to start getting asked out and then it gets easier and easier and this becomes your superpower, okay? So I hope that this video made a big difference for you and I will see you in the next one.